this is the first video that I'm filming in my new apartment and we don't have any of our furniture other than a blow up air mattress that we've been sleeping on for five days. We don't even have Wi-Fi yet. So barely have a good signal in this apartment as well. I've been so bored. So I wanted to film this video. <laughs> But yeah, this is the first video that I'm filming in my new apartment. I will not be filming another video in this apartment because the acoustics right now with the echo with having nothing in it is terrible. But I needed to pass the time. The Wi-Fi guy is supposed to come in like two hours, thank goodness, so I can finally start working again. I wanted to talk about the Natasha Denona pastel palette. I'm kind of giving this a first impression of just the launch itself. I do not have the palette, so if you're looking for a review, I don't have it yet, but obviously I am going to buy the palette and I am going to review it so if you want to see that real first impressions of the palette make sure you're subscribed to my channel I'm so excited I'm gonna give a quick update on the move if you're interested I will have timestamps below if you're not but yes Jose and I made it to Miami we took a train Thursday we arrived Friday morning in Orlando and then we had to drive like four hours down to Miami We decided to take a train because we're very lucky There is one auto train that goes from Virginia all the way down to Florida So we packed our car with a bunch of stuff like a lamp so that we could survive in the apartment sheets uh, A bunch of our clothes and then of course a bunch of my makeup and just basic living stuff that we were able to stuff our car with and then we got to ride in in a train for 17 hours. It was a long journey and then once we arrived we took my car and we drove to Miami and that made the most sense because it was a good way for us to get our car down here. It was a good way for us to pack some of our most fragile and you know most expensive and valuable things with us. So I'm really really happy we decided to go that route but it was such a long journey let me tell you and we've been living without any furniture like we literally do not have anywhere to sit. We just bought the air mattress and I got a call actually this morning from our movers. They're coming Thursday in two days. Thank goodness. And then our Wi-Fi, we've been without Wi-Fi as well. We couldn't get an appointment. So actually this afternoon, like a couple hours from now, the Wi-Fi guy will be here. So then I can actually get work done. I felt very limited these last few days without any Wi-Fi. These are first world problems. I'm very much aware, but in terms of doing my job, it's made things difficult, especially because I don't have good cell phone reception in our building. It really, really sucks, but I guess it's just the way that it is. So I've been completely disconnected from the internet these past three days so that's why I've not been on stories that much I haven't been answering comments I have not had a way to be on the internet it's been a nice break but I am ready to get back on it and get back into the swing of things so yeah that is the update I think I will be back full swing on YouTube probably on Monday because my parents are coming to help us unpack and stuff tomorrow when our stuff comes and you know we have to build furniture because we've bought a lot of Ikea furniture and all of that so <laughs> that's the move update I will have videos though I filmed a lot before I left so I have a bunch from the old house videos and they're actually really good topics so I'm excited about that but I wanted to talk about this anyways let's get into the exciting part the Natasha Denona pastel palette like I said this was leaked before so I already know my thoughts on it I've just been waiting to get a thumbs up from the brand or something where I know that they're not going to ask me to take my video down because Natasha Denona does not like it when her stuff is leaked but we finally got the brand images so now I feel like I can give kind of a more thorough thought process behind this palette it. So it says right now it is available in Europe. I'm not exactly where, but I know it's not available to me in the US. I think March or April is when it's supposed to become available. It is a spring makeup launch. This includes 15 shades with different finishes, spring shades and playful pink and yellow to delicate purple and blue with creamy mattes, metallics, and a vibrant transparent multi-chrome that can be used alone or as a top coat. So I also wanted to get that description from the brand as well before I dove into this palette. So let's take a look here at this first photo. These are from Trend Mood if you are curious. 
Overall first thoughts, I'm so excited about this palette. I am very happily picking it up. And I think if I didn't have a YouTube channel though, I would be hesitant to pick this up because I don't use pastel shadows too often. But when Natasha Denona launched her Circle Loco palette, I was really not into it. As in terms of interest, I thought, you know, if I didn't have a YouTube channel, I would not have purchased that palette. But then I actually ended up using it a ton and creating much different looks from it and made me feel so inspired so it actually left me wanting more color from Natasha Denona so I I'm actually super duper excited about this and I hope I love it as much as Circle Loco I just think the way Natasha kind of pairs her colors together are so genius so this does remind me of the Circle Loco palette but obviously Circle Loco is a little bit more deep more jewel tones more vibrant this is more spring friendly you have those more pastel tones I am loving the variety that we have here. The layout does remind me of the Circle Loco in terms of they're kind of randomly placed, but if you group the colors together monochromatically in your brain, then you'll kind of start to feel a little bit more inspired. And with this style of packaging, you are able to mix the shades where you want them. I leave them where they are just for the sake of my YouTube channel, but if I didn't have a channel, I would arrange those purples together. I'm actually going to move to the side a little bit so you can see. I would arrange the purples and pinks together, the blues and the greens and the limes. I feel really inspired with this and I do feel like that they are also quite monochromatic and done so in a way that you can follow color theory very easily so your looks won't get muddy or anything. I'm in love with this, you guys, and I love the heavy play on the pinks and purples. I think those are so pretty for the springtime. And also with the blues, those aren't so common, I would say, not as many people use them, but a really trendy style of makeup is just to do a singular wash of those types of shades on the lid. So I think this is a perfectly appropriate palette for a spring launch. Something that I also did want to note is that this palette is a midi size according to you guys I asked so it's going to be about 65 US dollars. This is my favorite style of packaging from Natasha Denona because I think it's the best value. The biggest mistake Natasha did with her Circle Logo palette was it was the full size so the pans were twice as big and the price of it was $129 and it just doesn't make sense for consumers to spend $129 on a colorful palette that you might not reach for all of the time. So I'm very happy that she downsized this to half the size and it's half the price. So I think it makes it much more appealing to the average consumer because this is a palette that you can more so justify paying that price point for, uh, for these colors that you might only use on special occasions. But I'm really really happy about that I've got to say so very excited for the price point I'm um, taking a closer look at each of the shades here this is just from what I can see based on the photos we have what looks like one two three four five six mattes true mattes here just for regular powder mattes and bubble that periwinkle blue shade looks like it could be a cream to powder tool potentially looks like it could be a cream to powder but so does Bora. It's kind of hard to tell from the photo, but Bubble definitely looks like her cream to powder. Those cream to powders are a matte shade, but they do have a, a very subtle, very subtle sheen. At the end of the day, it's still a matte shade, but if you know, you know if you've tried that before. And then we have what looks to be one, two, three, four, five, six metallic shades. And then of course, that shade Illusion is the multi-chrome shade that she's talking about. So I'm going to talk about this Illusion shade because I'm so excited. I think I might be a little too excited. I think I might be a little disappointed by it once we actually get it in our hands. But they describe this as a vibrant, transparent multi-chrome that can be used alone or as a top coat. So that leads me to believe it doesn't have a very heavy pigmented base to it, which I kind of pref would prefer if it did have a heavy base to it personally, but you can see because it's that white to pink shift, it's probably going to be a little bit more transparent. I don't know. I wish it wasn't as transparent, but that's just my personal opinion. In the past, Natasha hasn't done the best job with multi-chromes, so I'm very interested to see how this looks, but I'm excited for it, and I'm happy she put this new formula in the palette. I would have liked to have seen like one or two more rather than just the one, 
But, you know, beggars can't be choosers here. In terms, I'm trying to say my final piece here on the color story. You're not getting too much depth. The most depth will be with Bora. I'm not as offended by that just because this is a pastel palette. You know, pastels are supposed to be lighter and brighter, but just note if you do feel that you do need depth, you will have to dig into another palette. But in this specific circumstance, I'm really not that mad about it. I wish the shimmers, and this might change when I see them in person, but some of the shimmers look a bit dark for this being a more pastel palette. Again, we'll see how it plays out, but in some circumstances, I feel like the shimmer shade might actually be darker than the matte shades. Not all, but again, it's all going to be different once we see the palette at hand, but this is what I'm seeing at the current moment. And hopefully none of the shades will be too redundant. From what I can see, it doesn't look like they're going to be too close to each other. I feel like Natasha did a good job of bringing you variety in this palette instead of having like two or three shades that will end up looking the same on the eyelid. But that depends on the quality of the pastel shades. Quality has a lot to do with that. You know, if you have bad quality pastels, all of them kind of blend into one another and become the same shade. So hopefully that won't be the case with this. But assuming it's Natasha Denona's normal amazing quality, that should not be an issue. And I'm looking over here at the swatches. Again, not a lot of depth that I'm seeing, but I'm feeling quite inspired by the swatches. And then the looks that you see that she's done. Here is a photo on a person with a richer complexion. I love that she used those brighter shades for liner. It looks quite subtle on her eyelid though. So we'll see. I wonder if that's the iridescent shade, the multi-chrome shade that's on her lid. Very interesting. And then you'll see this second model right here. We really went a little crazy with it. Very Danessa Myricks esque with this makeup style. It looks really fun, not like anything I would ever personally wear, but I love that you get to see a lot of the different colors in here and how they blend into one another. Kind of futuristic here, which I'm liking. And then we have this look right here, which plays more so with the pinky tones. And then she also does kind of a graphic liner style with some of the shades that are offered in this palette, which I think a lot of people are going to have fun with, especially, you know, if you're on TikTok, you see a lot of those euphoria style makeup looks. That is what I am seeing from this palette as well, from the type of looks that she's creating. So I'm really, really excited. I will definitely be picking this palette up. I won't be creating those euphoria style makeup looks, but hopefully I can create some looks that can inspire you to play and make you feel comfortable in terms of how wearable I can make the palette. And I have my expectations set high for this palette. I'm not gonna lie, I think it is so beautiful. One point that somebody brought up to me was that they thought it also reminded them of the Tropic palette. Now the Tropic palette is no longer available. There's like a peachy shade that reminds me of the Tropic palette and then maybe a couple of the colorful tones. I actually went back and did a direct comparison between the new pastel and Tropic and two of the shades from Tropic are in this palette so there definitely was some underlying inspiration there so mint frost and limoncello were in the tropic palette not that big of a deal to me because honestly the tropic palette has been discontinued for a few years now but i'm not sure if there are any more repeat shades but there are at least two let me know if you know of any more but those aren't as closely related as I would think it would be to the Circle logo. This palette looks like the perfect pair with the Circle logo. Like they look like they would complement each other very, very well. We will see once we have it in hand because a lot of times the palettes just give something different in person, you know? I see the palette in person and my entire thoughts change, but I am super duper excited about this palette. Let me know your thoughts down below. I don't think it's gonna be everybody's cup of tea because pastels certainly are in acquired taste, but I think if there's anybody who can kind of change our mind on that, it would be Natasha Denona. She did it with a circle logo for me. So that is what I am looking forward to. And 
If anything, you gotta give Natasha Denona credit. If anybody's not afraid to step outside of the boundaries, it's Natasha Denona. I had a video idea where I was like talking about launches that I would love to see from other brands and I was brainstorming for Natasha Denona and I didn't really have too much to say for Natasha Denona because she brings us a lot of what we ask for. So <laughs> I'm not surprised she came out with the color story like this and I think Hopefully she is going to nail it. So let me know your thoughts down below. Are you interested in picking this palette up? Is it a pass for you? And anything to get our juices flowing, you know? So that's all I have for today's video. Thank you so much for being subscribed and liking this video. And I will catch you guys in the next one. I think it might be a Natasha Denona rankings video. I'm currently editing that. So Hopefully we have Wi-Fi so I can upload it. Anyways, <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.